G'day ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Majestic Gaming's Paradise City with City Skylines, episode number two of our Island Paradise map. Alright, so as you can see there's a lot of changes that have been made. I thought I'd revamp the city a little bit, so I've connected through the city connections from the left side to the right side. I've also created the industrial down by the beach here. As you can see, it's very muggy, cloudy, full of um, pollution and things you can see right now, which is not too great at the moment. Now we're not running off a power grid, such as a power plant, we're going all natural with our solar panels, which is a nice little mod feature that I've put into the game. It was very hard to do this map 100% using the stock assets. I had a lot of trouble and a lot of difficulty using the power plant. I would consistently keep running out of either A, space to build with the amount of money that you have when you begin the game, or B, I just couldn't keep up with the supply and demand, which caused the city to fail. So with a few trial and errors, a couple of things here and there, I managed to get by by using solar panels. Nice, nice little factory areas on the beach down here, overlooking the water. We managed to put down a, a tip, dump, landfill site, etc. here. And as a start now, as a new feature, we've actually managed to put in a tunnel. That's right, a tunnel that will easy access to the other side of the map. So I'm thinking on top of up here, we're going to build some nice features with hopefully industrial over here a bit more because I'm running out of space down there. And due to the escaping of the land, or the natural terraforming, I don't think I can have many buildings built on this side. And we want to stick as close as we can to the stock feature of the island map itself without wiping out too much of the industrial trees and landscaping, as you can see here. Now, what else other features I've added in is I've added down to education now. We're only running at uh, about 630 population at the moment, but it'll soon go up. And I'm currently using a mod for our first person view, which is extremely beautiful. And I've also got a, a sky mod here, as you can see for the dark. This looks awesome in the night sky, stars, auras, things, and a brand new moon over there. Just to give the city a bit of a more lifelike feel, instead of having, if you're looking straight ahead over there. Between the bottom of the ground and halfway point between the trees, it's just solid blue. So uh, yeah, quite happy with that right now. So we can just have a bit of a tour of the city so far. As you can see we've got some car washes here. And we've got housing all the way around the mountain areas. Looking great. They're only very minimal and pop housing at the moment. Because we haven't upgraded or added much education, high school, university, etc. As we haven't unlocked it yet. As you can see, we've got people roaming around here. And going into there, just invading the house. Oh, what's it like to live in a beautiful pixel world, as you can see right here. It's very pixelation, so. Alright, so if I show you around to the other side now, where the island feature is coming down to the side here. And these are what the houses look like when they're actually formed into the mountainside. Looks great with a natural feel. And heading up towards the end over here, I haven't built anything yet, sort of make want to curve around here. As you can see we've got a nice ravine where we can build some exotic housing as well. So looking great so far. So if I go down here and we look over to our city, as you can see here, this is what it looks like from a high point of view over of what we can build and then we'll move on to the coastline, put our docks and things towards the outer areas. Alright, that's about enough about me rambling on for about four minutes with the random shit. Probably boring you guys, but hey. This is my adventure and what I built so far, so Alright, I'm gonna skip a little bit here, come back in a sec. Just so I've got some more population running and getting everything kicking to a brilliant new start. Okay. Okay, so as we can see here, our city is screaming for some more industrial areas. So I want to try and work out what the hell we're doing with our road links here. I'm thinking I might link this up to the highway down here. 
as far as long as I can get it, perhaps, and then link it across. But we have to make sure we have leave space for our railroad and rail areas as well. So I sort of want to have it connected and running through the city, as it looks marvelous and it's very stunning to see as well. So okay, so we're gonna see if we can high point this. All right, so money's an issue at the moment. I have to save up a little bit. Okay, so we just casually leveled up a little bit. As I was just about to switch back on to keep recording, upgrade some new features and things here. So now we got a police and a firehouse to put down, a fire station, whichever. At least they're nice enough to give us a, quite a few credits to put down. So, all right, where do we want to put this baby? This little interesting little fire thing. Alright, I think we might have it over here. Yep, why not? At least it gives us some nice coverage to our industrial zone over there. We should have had a little bit closer to the city down here, maybe. But we'll run into some major traffic issues later on. A lot of you guys are probably wondering why I'm not doing single one-way streets. I don't know, I don't really think I need to feel to do it that way at the moment, considering it is a new city. I know I'm probably going to regret it with a bit of a clusterfuck going on later on, but we'll see how it goes. Alright, police station. Alright, we'll put a modern one down because it looks cool. Place that there. We want to keep everybody as happy as we can, and we want to make sure that I don't fail like previous maps that I've done, and ensure that the entire population has a connectivity to education. Now you might be thinking, well, that's a pretty dumb idea, but hang on, if you've got low population and low type residents working in industrial and you make them all smart asses, well, they want to grow up and go to uni and not be bums and therefore your factories fail, and then the whole city just goes to shit from previous experience. Yeah, it's not a good look. Sorry to say, but yeah, it's really not a good look. Alright, so we're going to lay that down here. And we'll make it a bit more terraformed with flatlands. Looking beautiful so far. And then we want to connect that up to the highway if possible. So we have an en route for our trucks and things. And we can start laying down some land over here. We're going to try and work out a way that we can make it as flat as possible. While covering enough covering airspace. To ensure that our building proceeds to maximum capacity. Yeah, don't mind me, I'm just rambling on. Alright. As I do. Alright, there we go. Nice T-shape there. And we want to make things look a little bit more natural, so we don't want to have too much with our grid lands. So let's have a bit, couple of curves and things in here. Marvellous, look at that. Slope too steep. What are you trying to do to me? Alright, let's see what we can do. Oh dear. I see what you mean. That's okay, because then we can just layer it up. Oh, hang on. I wonder if we can make a high rise. Oh, and then we can curve it around, maybe? Yeah, I guess that kind of works out. I'm not really going to have much to do with the industrial areas at the moment, but we'll see how we go. And let's see if we can curve it around down here. 180 at 90 should do. Yeah, it does look a bit weird, but I think we might be able to manage. And we'll set some districts a bit later on. Slope's still a little too steep. Alright. I know we could probably have one end of a tunnel sticking out one side and another end of the tunnel sticking out another. But because of the way that the road terraforms and things, it just doesn't look right. Oh, okay. What if we 
do it like that. I guess that kind of somewhat works. And then we can bring it back down and have it connecting down to the other side. So I guess we're just dealing with all our little options at the moment. Alright, so we've got enough space to build things here, and if the elevation is low enough, we'll have the capacity to have things even. Even Steven! It's the way to do it! Alright, so and then we just make another road down here. And it should be flat if my calculations are correct. This would really make for some nice mountain housing, but unfortunately at this stage we really need more industrial areas. Now I've thought about it before having a road that I could have a like elevated sort of thing that it wouldn't have to go through to the other side, but unfortunately I couldn't make it work from here to there and then connect it to a road that I was thinking of as before. It just didn't look really natural and it was way too steep. So even if I wanted to, it probably wouldn't have worked out the exact way that I wanted it. Anyway, let's see what else we can come up with. Okay, after playing around with the roads for quite some time, I actually discovered how to come up with a pretty much good and proper level design. So, pretty much what I worked out so far is to make everything leveled so it'd be sort of recurring enough and flat enough that it will build without having to recede too much except for this lower part here but I'm um, trying to keep it as flat as I can but I don't want to keep it sort of like checkered and I want to keep it sort of like different unique sort of style in the way of building don't like it too gritty as I've mentioned before I want to have lots of curves and things in it like a natural preserved city not just a grid that was ripped out of city you know, Sim City, so it's quite a pain too. Another thing I realized with the most recent City Skylines update is your income fluctuates big time. As you can see down here, if you look at my income, which is very low at the moment, but it will casually drop to minus and then it'll go up and then fluctuate back down again. As the previous builds of City Skylines, no matter what, it would just keep going up. It would fluctuate, but it wouldn't be a drastic change. So this is another reason I really like this map. It's very challenging, and it's very, very... Oh, I've got to say, it keeps me on my toes. So, after all, a successful city is a happy city. So, it's very hard to keep these residents happy. They're so demanding. They want everything, so... Got to give them the best they've got. I realized another thing, too, I was running out of education. So I had to build another school down here. You might be wondering why I'm leaving space behind them and around them, but you'll so see soon enough. And another thing too, I realized that with our budget here, we've actually had things too high for our advantage, so I've actually lowered them to our proceedings, so we're not using as many resources or more than we require, which gives us a little more profit and lets us build quicker. So, yeah. If I pushed everything up to midway mark and everything was being used more than it could require, I'd be losing a pretty hefty profit and the city would be even slower than it's building now, so. But it doesn't matter too much because we'll work with it and we'll see how we can go from here. Alright ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for tuning in to Majestic Gaming's Sim City or City Skylines Ireland Paradise with your Aussie mate Majestic. If you enjoyed this video and like to see more content like this, please give this video a massive thumbs up. Feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below and be sure to subscribe to our channel for more awesome SimCity and different videos and let's plays throughout the week. As most of you may or may not know, our daily video schedule will be released back up on the 1st of January 2016 as due to personal issues and sort of different things here and there. We've had to take a bit of a break, and as well being the Christmas season too, so not having much time to myself at the moment, but I'm doing the best I can in the time that I have available. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. Until next video, MG out!